Red Bull make it win 100 in their careers and it is 18 out of 19. Is it safe to say that Formula 1 is boring these days or did this race have potential to show us that Red Bull can be caught or is it just a Max Verstappen masterclass? What is it? Come on, hit me with it. Boring these days? It's been boring for well over a decade. No, 2021 was good. Uh, yeah, well, there's been a couple of good seasons over like the last 13 years, but more often than not, it's just been like one car dominating. Early 2010s, it was Red Bull. Then we moved on to Mercedes. There was a couple of years where Ferrari could have done something, but Fettel was crap. And then Red Bull offered a title fight, and now it's just Red Bull. So, I mean, yeah. No, I'm not saying... Uh, gone are the days where I feel you had like multiple teams battling it out and you'd four drivers capable of going for a title and the constructors was even i feel like even over the years where we've had competitive teams it's been like it's only been like one driver against another it's basically been two number ones and two number twos whereas i just didn't feel like that was like that back in the day no it, it wasn't and uh as for this race i mean not much happened at the start man you had Sainz and Perez battling. You had like, see, see, in like two thousand and seven, were, were we were we spoiled? But that legit looked like a, a year where you did not know who was going to win the constructors, and you felt well, like you did once for McLaren. Got, all right, okay, the, the, what's the, that? Right, what's that? Once that happened, like there was only one winner. But you you didn't know who was going to win the constructors up to that point, and you legit felt like it was a four way title fight for the the drivers' championship. We will get that now. But now you like, I mean, like if you look at Red Bull. Perez is never going to win the title. He's just not. Uh, he, he got Austin Martin. 50, I mean, let's just put it into perspective. He finished 42 seconds behind Alonso. Wait, 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 what's the actual excuse for that? I just don't remember back in the day where like top teams just were like focused around one driver. If you look at the couple of seasons where Ferrari challenged Mercedes in like 17 and 18, it was, it was, it was Fettel versus Hamilton. Yep. That was it. Then you look at the season where Red Bull challenged, it was for Stappen versus Hamilton. I just don't see the multi-battles anymore for wins. Sucks. It does. Because see if Verstappen wasn't in this race, it would have been... I mean, it was a lot of first Hamilton. see Verstappen wasn't in this championship? How but, fucking exciting would it be? But he is. And uh, we can't change that. I think you could honestly see a world where Hamilton and Alonso beat Perez in the standings. Yeah, but easily. there's just no world where they beat for Stappen. Nope. And, and I don't care. Having see a battle for a second, it's just not the same. Yeah, it's good, but yeah, it's not. Is it same. really? It, well, Alonso versus Hamilton is always good. No, but I mean the battle for like second in the the, oh, the, the drivers the, the drivers title. Ah, who cares? Yeah. I mean, it could, I think it, we could get a good battle between Perez, Hamilton, and Alonso. I think that could be a three way fight. Yep. But it's hard to really care for it. No, you, you you're right. And uh, Logan Sargent's engine did not care for him as it went kaboom. Brought out a few SC, no one pit it. George Russell benefited the most for this, got into Alonso's DRS, and then what did he do? He binned it. Just, uh, it's a mistake that, yeah, it's, I mean, I guess you could say it's easily done. Like, I mean, Verstappen almost did it later on, but it's kind of one of those ones that just sets Hamilton a better above Russell, isn't it? You don't really see Hamilton making these in races. No. And, you know what, I think Russell's been pretty decent on pace, but... Hamilton is just consistent and you know every team like the top four teams Russell I think is the best number two driver I think Sainz is very unfortunate it's Ferrari right with Ferrari it's going to be very hard to tell what's actually going on there because they're a mess but you know what the day they actually did a decent strategy I like Sainz but I, fe I do feel like he's very inconsistent I feel like he can be off it but then again you could say the same Perez I I'd rather Sainz than Perez yeah, I think so. Like, I feel like when Perez is off it, it's horrendous now. But no, it's weird. Yeah, I feel see, like when see, no, is see, off it, it's just mediocre. See, force into you. I don't recall Perez having off days. Maybe you could say, oh, when you're at midfield, teams off days don't look as bad. But his form since Miami has been nothing short of shite, right? And that's all I'm going to say. Russell brings out the safety car. For starting, gets lucky here. The top three, you could argue, get lucky. Um, then you see the both Ferraris and Perez staying out. Which basically makes all of them leapfrog everybody. I mean, at the time I thought Friday made a mistake here, but considering they were just stuck in a train, not going anywhere, it was actually the right call. Yeah. So fair play, Ferrari actually made the right call for once. 
But in the end, what did it get them? Fourth and fifth, it's not... But though the thing is... <laughs> it's not exciting. Ferrari pit it around the exact same time as like the Mercedes and Aston's for their second stop. So therefore, Ferrari, who I thought would have had decent pace this weekend, they showed it in practice, the dry practice on Friday, but... Yeah, because like, essentially what they did actually cancelled out the stop everyone else did, because they kept quite close, and they came out only a couple of seconds behind Hamilton, but Ferrari just didn't show an awful lot to me today. The f- they are, are they the fourth fastest car? I don't know what's going on with them, personally. Well, you say they don't show a lot. I feel like the last stint, they looked quick as anybody else. Yeah, but they actually lost time to the guys ahead, rather than gaining it. I think that's because they were on a harder tyre. Alonso was on the harder tyre. Yeah, but Alonso's With brake Alonso. issues. Alonso's Alonso. Alonso. Anyway, Perez, though, he had... And big... I thought Alonso did lose time, so... I mean, not, not, to, not to the Ferraris. Ferraris didn't gain anything in him. I'm not saying Alonso didn't lose time, but he gained time on the Ferraris. Oh, but Perez lost time on the Ferrari, so... because ah, he's fucking pish. I'm sorry, like... Nah, I mean, I can't... We kind of got we've uh, tricked into it. Perez, title contender. Fucking no After chance. After four man. races... I Yo, and, I, and I, think, I think it's abundantly clear that Max has probably given it about 60% at the minute. Yeah. yeah. I think... I mean, I'm not saying, like, if he tried the day, he, he would have won by over a minute. But are you trying to tell me, with Alonso nursing a brake problem, that he 9.5 seconds is the best for Stappen could have done? Yeah, I mean, part of me feels like, well, at least it's not complete dominance. At least the the overall race times are being a little bit competitive. But at the same time, it's like, we don't really know how much more Max has in the tank. We see that once they have to fight, well, once he has to fight through the field, because Perez just doesn't make it look like it's dominant. Uh, so, yeah, anytime Max has to fight his way through, like we like we see in Miami, Saudi just blasts past people. Where did Perez like, start the day? 12th. I think for Stanton would have won the day for 12. Easily. Although lap times wouldn't suggest that. If you look at the race time, you, you'd you think, well, he only... No, it would, it, it, I'm not saying it, it uh, like... But it would have been a different max, that's my point. He wouldn't have overtook Hamilton Alonso, like, you know, in lap 10, but I feel like, yeah, he would have won. Uh, so that wrapped up the top six, Alonso and Hamilton, decent battle, and then he had the... I think to make F1 interesting, Max should just start last. Max should, Max, uh, should start for the pit lane. And all the remaining races. It's beginning to feel like Alonso, they should have pitted him for Inters in Monaco. Because I, I, honestly, I, the, the way it's going, I think Max, if Max doesn't have reliability issues or gets too good at turn one, what's stopping him from winning? He will, though. There will be one race where I'm not saying he'll retire, but I think there's there bound to be one race. Yeah, but then where, Perez could just step up. Well, I don't think Perez deserves to step up, to be fair. <laughs> but yeah, look, Max won the day. No point, over, over, no point complicating this. It was a shit race. It was a very shit race. Max yeah. won. Um, I think Alonso was great to get the second with the car, but I would give driver of the day to Albon. I think they get seventh in the Williams. Uh, I think Albon is underrated. A lot of people wrote him off after that season and a half at Red Bull. And to be fair, I kind of did too. But I think we need to accept that Max is like a phenomenal talent and anybody in the Red Bull, pretty much anybody in the Red Bull is going to look mediocre to Max. Yeah, we have bigged up Perez a lot, so uh, I mean Perez finished. I know mean, Perez did an extra stop, like, but Perez was struggling to get past him at points. Although what I would say is, like, at least Perez has been competitive at times. We never seen Ocon, and we never seen Gasly be competitive. And Albon, you mean not Ocon? All right, sorry, um, Albon and Gasly, they were never competitive. Ricardo was competitive at the beginning, but it was like. The older Max got, you just seen the gap opening up season after season. Oh, aye. And I'm, I'm not surprised Ricardo left because I think he thought, you know what, I'm just going to get absolutely smoked if I stay at Red Bull. And he, he would have... Because uh, people questioned here, why are you leaving Red Bull to go to Renault? Very... I mean, that is that is one of the worst career decisions. I don't care. I know he's, oh, he could have got smoked, but come on. Day the uh, smoke in. Right, Albon 7th, decent, Ocon 8th. I think he probably should have got past Albon on fresher tyres, man. Don't really see. Right, I think biggest L of the day. Lance Stroll, what the fuck's this guy doing? Sneaked a couple of points. Don't think he deserved them, to be fair. Kind of got in because Norris had a five-second penalty and I think he overtook Bottas on the last lap. So, yeah. It was the last qu- on the line. Stroll shouldn't have got any points today. Yeah. But let's be real, two points is not enough. I mean, L- Lawrence wanted a double podium today. And you know and why what? couldn't they got it? Could it? Perez is pish, and Alonso, with his car that's underperforming, managed to get second. 
So why couldn't Stroll be a car that we are we were led to believe was perfectly fine? Why couldn't he have been up there? Because he's no good enough. Lance Stroll, damn it. Bottas has been awful this season. Uh, he grabs a point. McLaren, McLaren haven't scored points in Canada for nine years. It's almost like Stroll's actually getting worse. Even at the start of the season, he didn't look that bad. I know, he was right. getting decent. He was getting like fifth and sixth. But I feel like he's going fucking No, you, you've just so many drivers, man. Like Ocon, Norris, uh, Gasly. Because all, all of a sudden, that Austin Martin... Even Shinoda. But see the four I've mentioned? Uh, see if they were in like uh, the Aston Martin, man. It would, it would be a clear top eight. All of a sudden, that Aston Martin seat is becoming a seat that drivers are looking out for. Whereas that wasn't really the case for in the past. But now that's becoming an attractive seat where I, ima I imagine the better drivers will be looking to go to. And you know what? I wouldn't even be surprised if one of the Ferrari drivers would be interested in that Austin Martin seat. Yep. Oh. We know the clerks seem to be losing interest at, uh, at Ferrari. I mean, probably the switch he would want would be Mercedes if Hamilton leaves. But I think Austin Martin is actually becoming a seat that is a realistic option for, for top drivers or, or near the top of the field drivers. Like Norris, for example. I think he'd probably would take that chance on Austin Martin. Yeah, I think you know they're more likely to see Austin Martin when I talk Austin Martin than, though have got McLaren. the problem of Stroll is the, the daddy's wee golden son. He's never going anywhere, and Alonso is far too good to replace. So you, you say that like I think he is. I think if he keeps up this performance, you think he's going to get rid of him? Yep. Not in a month. Or, not in never. No, that, look, there's a difference keeping him when it's a midfield car, and you know he's he's just performing average. So you think his dad is going to put him at the sport? He'll give him, I think he'll get him a test roll or he will he'll fund him to get a, a, a seat at Williams or some shit like that. You, right. you think that? Mm. Fuck that's mad. So what do we you so you think he wants double podiums? You think he's gonna watch Alonso get on the podium every race and watch Stroll struggle to make points and he's just gonna be oh, that's alright. This is a guy that wants he wants Austin Martin to be world champions. <laughs> if he's any real ambition he would, but well, he's I... came out and said that. He we're wanted not. a double podium this weekend. And he got it fucking new chance. Tell him Marco came out and said it's not realistic. Alonso agreed with him. <laughs> Alonso's like, I'll not be off the podium for the rest of the season, but you can't expect Lance to get a podium. Woo! Oh, come on, Fernando, why are you killing him like that? No, he will. He will. I Just mean, leave it to me. If, if, if he doesn't improve, he'll, he'll have to go. Oh, you're right. Uh, I think that's probably a fed for a different... Day. We'll put Axie up for a poll. Would Vince McMahon fucking keep Triple H as a champ if he was tanking the ratings? Probably not, no. Well, you go, I mean. And on that note, guys, uh, this is where we're leaving you. Next up, I believe, is Austria. No, but you get my point. See if Austin Martin's a midfield team and they ain't really going to achieve anything, then having Lance Stroll in the car is not a big deal. But yeah. if Austin Martin have a car that's capable of getting podiums and winning races and potentially fighting for a title, and if, if, Lance, if Lance Stroll can't even contribute towards that, it'd be different if he was a good number two. If he was finishing behind Alonso. Yeah, let's just say the cars were equal this year, like Red Bull and Aston Martin. Stroll would still be dead in these performances. Yeah, so. So that, that's what it is, guys. But anyway, pretty long review here. Uh, we'll be back very soon with more content. F123 content. Oh, yeah. But anyway, till then. Peace.